if you wanted to. These expensive, these is red bottoms, these is She is the brash and bold star behind chart-topping hits like Bodak Yellow. And I like it. Party B, the former stripper turned household name, is no stranger to red carpets or controversy. The megastar with a monster following throwing down in two online Twitter battles, one against conservative darling Tommy Lahren over the government shutdown. The other following the release of the music video Twerk with the City Girls, featuring 20 of the world's top twerkers who competed to be in the video. I honestly couldn't believe what I was seeing. I mean, it looked like pornography and a strip club put on a beach and a bunch of women dancing. I mean, pretty much almost nude. The suggestive content drawing ire from some online. Conservative commentator Stephanie Hamill tweeting, in the era of hashtag me too, how exactly does this empower women? Cardi B slamming back. It says to women that I can wear and not wear whatever I want, do whatever I want, and that no still means no. So Stephanie, chime in. If I twerk and be half naked, does that mean I deserve to get raped and molested? I want to know what a conservative woman like you thinks. Their Twitter feud launching an online debate over the thin line between body positivity and objectification amid the Me Too movement. The next day, I started seeing you know thousands of comments, retweets. With Cardi's tweet came a firestorm of backlash for Stephanie. I'm just very surprised about their reaction. While some people agreed with me, I thought more of the feminists would be coming out and defending me on this one. And instead, people were calling me racist. They were body shaming me for not looking like Cardi B. They were just going after my character. Hamill responded to the rapper's tweet and the online fallout with an online video. I 100% agree. No means no, no matter what. But what I'm trying to say is that this video and others like this sexually objectify women. So some are wondering what my comments have to do with Me Too. Well, last I checked, Me Too wasn't just about women speaking out about sexual harassment and abuse, but it's also about empowering women and gender equality. Your reaction to the now infamous video twerk? Looked like they were having fun. Um, you know, a little body envy, maybe. But aside from that, just looked like young girls having a really good time. Jamila Lemieux is a writer and communication strategist. What we really need to focus on, as opposed to condemning uh, women for the ways in which they choose to present or, or use their bodies, we need to interrogate the systems and structures that make it difficult for them to do so without repercussions. When you first saw the video, did you anticipate backlash? I didn't. Um, I think I've seen so many videos that are so, you know, uh, rich with booty shaking and, and girls dancing that it surprises me that people are still uh, up in arms about these things. But I also recognize that Cardi is becoming a crossover star in many ways. She's in a Super Bowl Pepsi ad. Okay, what have we learned today? You want a Pepsi? I want a Pepsi. Uh, she's the rare hip-hop star that your mom might know by name because she saw her on The Tonight Show. Come on. <laughs> Yo, Cardi B! She's speaking out on what's going on with the government. Trump is now ordering, as in summoning, federal government workers to go back to work without getting paid. You point to her and say, this is a woman who is living her truth, who's made the best of some really interesting career twists and turns, from a strip club to a reality show to being one of the biggest stars in music. And there are things that can be learned from that. Despite the criticism, the video that claimed the controversy is not unlike many music videos of the past. Wet. Got it going like, a turbo vet. like Sir Mix-a-Lot's Baby Got Back. Oh my or Nicki Minaj's Anaconda, both featuring women dancing in a sexually suggestive manner. It's long been known that sex sells. Scantily clad women used to push everything from magazines like Sports Illustrated, grass-fed beef, to Carl's Jr. With entire franchises like Victoria's Secret built on the aspirational female form. But in recent years, many women have been reclaiming their bodies, using sexuality as a tool for empowerment, like Emily Ratajkowski, who was bashed after appearing nearly naked in Robin Thicke's Blurred Lines video. 
The model telling InStyle UK in 2015, when anyone comes up to me about blurred lines, I'm like, are we seriously talking about a video from three years ago? It's weird to me that the reaction to a woman's naked body is so controversial in our culture. And Kim Kardashian, who nearly broke the internet in March 2016 after tweeting this self-censored nude selfie. I thought she looked beautiful. I think she's a great mom. Amber Rose is a former stripper and model, now an activist, raising awareness of body and sexual shaming who came to Kim's defense. If any sexy guy posted a nude picture with a little black strip over his private areas, Everybody be like, damn, he's hot, he's sexy, look at that body. Oh, he's a dad too, and it's just a double standard. The double standard between men and women is striking in videos like Lady Gaga's Alejandro <laughs> and Britney Spears' Make Me, which showcase plenty of sexy, scantily clad men dancing, but cause no backlash. Do you think there is a double standard when it comes to men and their sexuality versus women? Would we be talking about this if this were a man in the video? Absolutely not. You know, I mean, how many musicians, actors, you know, occasionally politicians that are male have we seen with their shirts off wanting us to see how much progress that they've put in at the gym or, you know, female artists like Britney Spears or Jennifer Lopez or Cardi herself performing with scantily clad male dancers. While she's received significant backlash, Stephanie stands by her decision to post a response to Cardi B's video. I think it is productive to have these conversations. I am happy to hear the other side and why they think it's empowering but at least we're talking about it today. And so your message to Cardi and the City Girls, twerk on, right? No problem with it at all. Twerk on. Just be mindful that when you are talking to younger fans, when you're talking to teenage girls who look up to you, you know, uh, encourage them to wait until they're grown enough to twerk like you twerk. I don't think that the onus should be on a group of young women in their mid-20s um, enjoying bodies that they won't have in a decade and, you know, fun and fame that they didn't have 10 years ago. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.